Well, howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. I've got another unboxing video for you today, and the item I'll be unboxing comes from Lakato. Now, if you're a subscriber to the channel, you might know that name because they have sent me several items in the past. And uh, one such item is this right here, which is the S4 mini amp, and I did a video about this. And not only that, I use this thing all the time. I pair this with my travel ukulele and it's kind of my go-to rig for traveling. Gotta get me home for the morning. And then on the clean channel, only this knob works. And on the dirty channel, all four knobs work. And some people, you know, in the comments seem to have a problem with that. Some people didn't like that. Lakato came back to me and they said, we've got another amp, this one here, the AG04, that is a two channel amp that does not have that problem. So they sent me this, so let's check it out. Is this gonna replace this? I don't know, there's one way to find out. So let's go ahead and get the box open here. All right, so first thing we come across, instruction manual, I'll set that to the side for a minute. We've got what appears to be a charging cable, it's like a USB type C cable, so that's probably, uh, probably has an internal battery just like the other one, and this is our amp and that's it. So we're gonna to toss that to the side. Let's get the amp out of the plastic here. It does seem, yeah, it does seem to be very well packed. I don't think like water or anything would get through this. So here we go. So you can see it's actually, I think it's a little bit smaller than this one. Let's see here. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely smaller than the S4 over here. Um, and it's a little different layout. So let's take a look here. We've got speaker up front here then on top we've got three knobs and then we've got a switch here that switches between the two channels and then over on the side here we've got our input and of course our charging jack it looks like our three um knobs are gain tone and volume very straightforward but they do say that they work on uh, on both channels and then we've got a um channel selector here overdrive and clean and then it looks like we have a bluetooth i'm gonna pull this little there we go there's a little packing thing there. Oh, then we've got a headphone jack too. I couldn't see that before. There's a headphone jack right there, so you can use it as a headphone amp as well. Over here on the side, we've got an LED, we've got the, the USB jack in, and then we've got our input, and that's pretty much it. This is a very simple, you can see on the bottom, we've got some rubber feet. Um, very simple. It's definitely a little bit lighter than this one, so for travel, I don't know, that might, that might be a good thing, but let's go ahead and listen to it. Okay, here we go. I grabbed my Les Paul Jr. off the wall, Got the amp right here. Um, as I mentioned before, there are three knobs and I have them all sort of at the noon position or straight up and down. Let's bring the volume up on the guitar. There we go. Let's see what it sounds like. If you're looking for a clean sound, that's probably not your best setting. Let's see what happens if I take the gain down a little, and I'm gonna take the volume up a little. There we go, it's definitely cleaner. I probably rolled. There we go. So yeah, it definitely does a clean tone. Let's see what the overdrive channel sounds like. Not too bad. Um, let's go back to the clean channel.
Doesn't sound too bad. You know, just for the heck of it, let's try it out with the travel ukulele since that's kind of what I want to use it with. Okay, so here's the little travel ukulele. Let's see what it sounds like coming out of this amp. So I think just because I'm used to playing it with this other amp, I think this amp might have a little bit more bass. I feel like this one punches out a little more low frequency, but I do like the way this has a tone control so I can dial that tone back a little bit and filter out some of that um, high frequency kind of clicky noise that this one kind of has. I definitely feel like this this one sounds smoother than this one. I think it's that tone control that you can roll back. Um, but this almost sounds, it almost sounds like an acoustic ukulele. So I don't know, this might become my new travel amp. Okay, so real quick, let me show you something else about this little amp. Um, so you can see the light is off right now because the power is not on. And if I just push this power button, it doesn't turn on. But if I push it and hold it for a few seconds, then it comes on, so you can see that light come on. I actually like that, so it's not accidentally gonna turn on in your suitcase or anything. Um, and then the uh, OD uh, clean switch over here, it's it's like a lock switch. I don't know if I can show that very well, but like it pushes in or it pops out. So it's, again, it's not, you can't just like bump it. So you can get these from their Amazon store. I'll go ahead and put a purchase link in the description below. At the time of this recording, they're about 30 bucks. So pretty good value. I'm not sure how long the battery lasts. I'll have to try that out. But anyway, there you go. That is the S3 from Locato. If you like that, like I said, check out the purchase link in the description. Um, if you like what I do on this channel, I would really, really appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up on this video. That really does help out the algorithm and help out the channel. And of course, if you're not already subscribed, please click that subscribe button below and make sure you can ring that notification bell. I will see you guys soon.